first of all thank you for registering our event okay and uh, welcome to this uh, first module that is basic module uh, so you all are aware we divided our entire training in three different module okay first is the basic module then advanced one and then the programming module okay so let's uh, look at uh, entire schedule of this basic module so it give you the idea what we're going to cover and uh, uh, how we're going to execute the training and everything okay so first let's uh, let me give you a brief idea about this entire training so this entire training we mm, try to conduct uh, something like this way uh, we give you the pre-recorded all the videos of all the sessions for uh, whatever the uh, module you registered okay if you register for basic module advanced and programming then also first you finish the basic then we release the advanced one video and then we release the programming uh, all the videos okay so how it supposed to work each session is almost something like two hours or uh, uh, or maybe uh, few are 1.5 hours one hour and 30 minutes or one hour 45 minutes that is the recording for each of these sessions okay so uh, if uh, so if you want to get a best result do something like this way okay first uh, you listen session number one okay or any of the session uh, and don't do anything just listen i suggest at least one or two time you listen then start working with the tutorial uh, of that particular sessions okay in each session we uh, ask you to do certain tutorials so i suggest try to finish all the tutorial for one session then move towards the second session and then third and then then like that way okay don't skip any sessions okay because a few things uh, that is needed for uh, later on session maybe it is explained in one of the session and if you miss then mm, you will lose uh, certain things okay so don't uh, miss anything mm. uh, that means don't miss any of the tutorial or any of the session don't skip it and step by step you follow okay so how it going to work is something like this way so uh, this basic module we start with the getting started and tutorial number one so in this we just give you the brief idea about the open form its capability what different solver available and what is exactly the open form is okay so and then we move towards the first class of tutorial that is based on the simple form in this we start with the very simple test case like uh, led driven cavity two dimensional flows okay where we first start with the uh, grid generation with the help of the block mesh and we ask you to refine the mesh and we show you how to refine the mesh all this activity we do with tutorial number one okay so tutorial one is going to continue for two sessions and with the help of this first tutorial you understand how to work with the open form okay that is the basic idea we also give you the basic information of the block mesh so block mesh is the utility that is coming with the open form it give you the very nice structured mesh okay so that is the idea behind that so first two tutorial is preliminary uh, sorry first two session is the very very preliminary session with the help of that you get a complete idea about the open form okay then we move towards the second session where we start talking about the unsteady flows okay so in the unsteady flow uh, we uh, start working with the ico form here also we first start with the uh, lead driven cavity so even though it is a steady state type of the physics for low re we start with that okay and then we move towards flow over a circular cylinder type of the test cases and get, get idea how we can work with the unsteady flow and we try to compare unsteady flow result with even steady state results okay so this tutorial 2 is about how to work with the unsteady flows okay so it will continue uh, till for uh, session 4 okay then uh, okay skip this session 5 okay so then we have a session uh, 5 equal to this uh, discussion of numeric uh, numerical schemes okay and exploring the uh, utilities so here we give you the brief idea about the whatever the numerical schemes available in the open form okay and then we move towards utilities so in open form uh, certain util uh, utilities available like pre-processing utility post-processing utility okay and during the solver also certain utility is useful so if there is a vast variety of utility available but we try to cover whatever is needed and that is helpful for us to execute entire of this uh, all three module training okay so we try to explore this utility because it is vast uh, very large number of utility available we divided this utility section in two part part one uh, that we're going to cover in tutorial number three 
and part two we're going to cover in tutorial number six okay then we move towards uh, uh, something like boundary condition and certain parameter setting and all these thing and exploring unsteady solvers with the help of the piezo class of the form okay so first we started unsteady with ico form so ico form more or like work with the laminar class of the flows but when we go towards turbulent class of the flows we have to either go with the piezo or pimple class of the solvers so with the help of tutorial number four and five we try to explore all unsteady phenomena either in laminar flow or in the turbulent flow or any class of uh, incompressible flow if you want to work uh, either we stick with the piezo or pimple class of the calculation so we try to uh, look at certain tutorial based on that okay then we move towards this uh, second part of utility then we start discussion about the uh, certain solvers inherent part of the solver that means how the code is developed for particular solver so we go to a doxygen area try to understand how to explore with the help of doxygen all this thing we try to cover in tutorial number uh, sorry in the session number 9 and 10 okay along with that we try to look at the function object it is very very powerful uh, concept available in the open form with the help of that you can do certain class of post processing co-processing okay if let's say you want to calculate the cdcl value while the simulation is going on let's say you want to look at the sectional control plot on certain sections or streamline plot all this thing you can do with the function objects okay so um, we try to explore few things here and then the last session that is the again uh, walk through of certain solver and along with that we try to look at the basic tutorial about the uh, VOF base uh, physics that means we go towards interform and interform allow us to look at the VOF type of the physics so we try to explore this thing with the help of this so this is how we're going to cover the basic module okay so again i'm uh, repeating if you want the best result okay then do something like this way go step by step session don't skip any session in each session or in each tutorial we are asking you to finish certain tutorials okay so you finish the tutorial and also uh, we have a, uh, in the google drive we have a place where if uh, you want to upload your tutorial or you want to explore that is somebody already uploaded tutorial we give you the access to that so if you not uh, able to solve certain tutorial you can adapt from that area and go ahead and finish all the tutorials but make sure until unless you finish the tutorial for all the um, sessions number one don't go towards session two three four five okay so like that way we're going to proceed so again thank you very much for uh, choosing over this online training program thank you